Garrett Cortez. And I'm Beck Gange, Axis team rider in Pro Wake Water. We're on the brand new A22. This is the boat Axis was built on, and for 2019, they've totally rebuilt it. And I'm here to show you through how to set it up for wakeboarding and wake surfing. Up front with the pickle fork bow of the A22, you've got plenty of space for a couple of people to lounge. It's really comfortable thanks to the new foam that they're using in 2019. You've got two speakers, cup holders, and really just your own nice social area. Plus, there's a hidden little spot for the windscreen. At the helm of the A22, you've got a dash setup that Axis is famous for. Nice and simple, easy to use buttons. They're soft touch, really intuitive, light up when you push them. Over on this side, blower, bilge, nav, plus all of your ballast. Push it once to start filling, push it twice to drain. Over here, heater, your wedge controls, lights. Over on this side, speed control and surf gate. The digital display in the middle of the dash will let you know where your surf gate is, your speed, your depth, and your wedge. A nice addition to the dash of 2019 is this phone holder. Easy to use, simple, like the rest of the dash, it works. A great thing about Axis's signature windshield is the cutout. Not only does it look good with the lines of the boat, but it's really convenient for when you're pulling up to a dock or talking to a rider in the water. The captain's chair is also all new. It's really comfortable. It's got a nice open side, so it's easy to get in and out of and access the rest of the boat. The cockpit of the A22 has a ton of space for you and your friends to enjoy a full day on the water. There's plenty of space to lounge in comfort. You've also got cup holders for everybody, speakers on both sides, plus four more speakers up on the tower so you can really crank the tunes. And underneath every seat is a ton of storage, so you don't have to worry about crowding all the boards and bags that all your friends are bringing. New this year on the A22 is the rear-facing sliding skybox seat. Slide it out, you got a whole new way to sit and watch the action on the water. The back of the A22 is a lounge area unto itself. You got this huge sun pad for laying out. You've also got no slip grip, so it's easy to get in and out of the boat. And this seating area makes it really convenient for getting your board on or off. You've also got a remote unit for the stereo. So if you're all back here lounging, hanging out in the water, you can control the tunes. I ride the A22, I fully load the boat, including the plug and play. I ride at 75 feet and 22.2 .2 miles an hour. I have the Power Wedge 3 set at 4, and it makes perfect wake for me, nice and steep, so I can go as big as I can. The Power Wedge 3 has more usable settings, so you can set the wedge exactly how you want it. If you're a beginner, you can set the wedge at 1, so you have a more ramp, clean wake. If you're more of a pro and you want a steeper wake, you can set the wedge to 3 or 4, so you can get some more height. The great thing about all Axis wake boats is that you can make an easy switch from wakeboarding to wake surfing. You don't have to empty out any weight, you just adjust your speed, your wedge and the surf gate. When I wake surfed behind the A22, I had the power wedge set at 3 and I rode at 10.8 miles an hour. When I wanted to, I could switch the wedge to 4 and ride at 11 miles an hour just with a press of the button on the surf band. Axis has put a lot of thought into redesigning the A22 and there's a lot of really cool things to like about this boat. The wave and wake is the best it's ever been behind the A22. Can't wait for everyone to get out there. I'm Beck Gange. And I'm Garrett Cortez. This is the 2019 Axis A22.